hello everybody. I don't know what today's date is. What is it? The 11th? No idea. Well, who the heck knows? <laughs> but we are back. I am back at the spot. And we've got two riverbed hogs today. And I'm here with Keith. NHRA Gold. <laughs> Hola, he says. So we're going to do some digging right through here. And of course, Keith knows a bit about geology, so I'm going to get some hands-on stuff that I've been wanting to learn for a while here. And uh, of course, it isn't a day educational thing. It takes time. <laughs> and then I'm going to get my setup water level came back up so I can set back up down there. And I'll continue to dig. I guess we're going to tackle this spot here. But Lots of rocks to move. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to have some fun. Look who's back. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say, Keith? That hole just keeps going down. Yeah. So I found about 26 pieces so far. I worked this over here which is just above where I got the bigger pieces the other day. So I'm working in here. Um, with Keith's knowledge, we've definitely determined that the black sand we see in here is leaching out of the bank. And of course, there's, there's different types of bedrock here. We've got the red and then the green, which he was saying is a a sign of thermal, formal, or thermal activity or something. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just learning all this stuff. So we're continuing with this here. I mean, look at the black sand in there, all up in there. Red. This is where I worked last time I was here. Yesterday, I think it was. Was it yesterday? I don't know. Last time I was here, anyway. So I got the 26 pieces out of here. I think I'm going to keep working this back because this is a major dropout zone from when this was all river channel. So I'm going to keep working this and hope none of that comes down on me or any trees. Not going to dig into the bank, but can't do that. So we're just going to keep on going. Get him go. <laughs> Yeehaw! I love that color. Bedrock really 
basically just the gates was breaking right apart. So nice. All those fresh little cracks coming apart easy. I'm sure it's cracked a bunch of holes. Yeah. Yeah, especially in something like that. Yeah, I'm trying to dig out underneath it so I can get it down. There's a good, I don't know, there's a good inch gap in there. Yeah. And then little nooks and crannies. Nice. A little more time for some of this go. Just out on a Saturday having a good time. Okay. Enough lollygagging. I got to get back to work here. All right, so end of the day. By the way, it's Saturday, and I still haven't checked to see what the date is, but who cares? We're getting gold. So, hey, Deb. I got the plate. Are you proud of me? <laughs> I finally got it. We were just up there. And we discovered where some gold is coming from, one of the sources anyway. So that's where we're going to focus tomorrow. But we didn't do too bad down in here. He's doing his final clean out now. We're going to pick up and head out of here. Still got to pick up my trap, but and finish picking up the rest of the stuff. So we are done for the day. I probably got about oh 90 colors. I'm not sure how many he got, but he dug this out when I started the other day and got that right down nice. Started doing some stuff up in here. Did a little bit of water diversion to get more more pressurization into my trap. So, more tomorrow. And I think we're gonna do this all as one video, so see you in a few seconds. But for us, it'll be quite a few hours. So I'll just sail like I always do. Catch you in a bit. Hello everybody, Joseph Greenmount Gold Trap. Sunday, May 12th, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to Mary and to my mom. And to all you mothers out there, and I am alone today, unfortunately. Keith, he's, uh, he drives drag race cars, so he had to do time trials today or something like that. But anyway, Keith, I know you're going to be watching this. I did manage to get a setup over here. Had to divert some water up there and move some obstructions. But I got it flowing really good. Did some test pans. I filled the pan three times, a little bit higher up than where you were, I was over here, and you were down there. About 15 pieces in there, one pretty good size one, another 30 plus, 50 plus, and a bunch of tiny ones. So, I'm going to go ahead and work this and see what happens. Catch y'all in a bit. Alright, so I punched a fairly decent hole over there. And it's just really, really tough digging. <laughs> really tough digging. So then I went to test panning here and there. And I ended up with 84 colors. Not too bad, I got a few decent sized pieces. That bigger one right there has got some girth to it. So that's good, and that did come out of that hole. That did come out of there. The bigger ones did come out of there. So, I think I might give up here while it's still 4.30, quarter to five, and head down river 
and do some test pan, a couple test pans down in there. It's going to be kind of deep, but I'm going to see if I can get in there and test some spots. Because I have an inclination that there's some gold been deposited down there where the washout took place. So, I'll catch you all in a little bit if I do stop there. If not, then enough for today. I'm kind of sore. My neck's bothering me. But, I'm really not ready to give up yet. So I decided to stop. Now, anybody who watches my channel knows that this used to be the main, main flow and all this land, or for those, I should say, for those of you who don't, this used to be the main flow and this used to be the old channel and now this is mostly charged. About close to an acre or better of land got wiped out here. The point is completely gone. This used to be all trees and woods. So right here, as you can see, coming in and slamming up against this bedrock wall and being forced over here. So this is a major, like, inside bend, a nice drop-off point, and it's quite a V going down in this way and in this way, and it goes right back. There's a lot of big boulders in here, while well, bigger rocks and some bigger boulders over in there. So I'm going to try to do a few test pans out of this little trough right here and see what I can come up with. See if there's, I'm, I, there's got to be gold, and it's probably at the bottom, but, and I'm not going to do too much. I just want to do a little bit of testing, so we'll see. And I can't wait to get up in there. Nice niche right there. All right, catch in a sec. So as soon as I stuck my shovel down in there, I quickly realized that that's going to be underwater work but I did do a pan. There was one little tiny flake, a little fly poop. So there is gold down in there, but I'm gonna have to get underwater and move boulders. And that's not happening yet. So, at least I know there's gold in there. And what I was able to get was just basically off the surface, so down deeper there's going to be gold in that trench. And another interesting thing too is right over here you see the bedrock. It goes over like this and then it comes in. But there's actually a bowl right there, a bedrock bowl. And it's rather deep. So that'll be another good thing. Of course it's right in the main flow, but any bigger pieces they get to the edge of that bedrock, it's going to drop right down in. So, I guess that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keith, it was a pleasure meeting you and look forward to doing more work with you in the future. Especially if we can, uh, once the water warms up, we can get in here. Do some stuff also. Be interesting. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. If any of you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Take care. What's up, y'all? So, anyway, the surprise guest in the video who didn't show up because he had things to do, going through a bit of a tough time right now, my son. How's it going? My son. He's going to be, what, 28? Yeah, 28. 28 years old. I guess I'm the Crypt Keeper, so anyway, um, he'll be at the river with me eventually, at some point, I, I'd imagine. Yep, but yeah, definitely. Also working with me down here a little bit, maybe. Yeah, going through some, a lot of appointments and stuff, but yeah. we're going we're gonna to kick some ass. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we'll catch you all later at the river, and that completes this video. Take care. Have a good one.